Do y'all remember that old grandma from Spongebob, the one in that chocolate episode? You rub it on your skin, and it makes you live forever. Well, it turns out she really took what Patrick said seriously, because here she is today. Oh my goodness! Age gap couples are controversial, but they're nothing new. The average age gap in the US is about two years, but as you'll see in celebrities, the gap can be a lot larger. Wow, wow, wow. Now, typically, the man tends to be older than the woman, but that isn't always the case. For example, you got Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra, but that's only 10 years. Nothing like the TikTok couple that we're going to be looking at today. What? This is 26-year-old King Karan, who has over 3 million followers on TikTok, and this is his wife. Yes, wife. Queen Cheryl, who has over 4.7 million followers. Now, if this is your first time seeing her, take a guess what her age is. Just take a wild guess. If you guessed 100 years old, then you'd actually be just as close as she is in age to Karan. She is 63. Yes, 63 years old, meaning she is more than double his age. She is literally the real-life Darlene from Ozark. Not only do they look alike, but they also like men, or should I say boys, who are much younger than them. So for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this female Freddy Krueger and her relationship with Karan because it continues to get more bizarre. And no, she isn't going to be a grandma. That is her baby that you're looking at. Now, just before we get into this, if y'all could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. So at a first glance, the two look like friends who are just vibing and having a good time. They often upload dancing videos with each other, some more innocent than others. Hold up, did she just... Ooh, brother, ooh. Yeah, she really gave him that gluck gluck 9000. <laughs> wow, if it isn't Goldilocks herself. You know, despite the fact that her face looks like the palm of my hand, her hair is looking pretty luscious. She may be more than double his age and looking like my pretty fingers after a good swim, but at least her hair is looking pretty good. So the caption for that TikTok is, I am beautiful inside and out. And while she is obviously a stunner on the outside, the inside, not so much. And no, I am not talking about her literal insides. Ugh, something I tragically had to witness when I decided to look her up on Twitter. So, an age gap couple is one thing, as long as the two are consenting adults. Although it's weird, it technically is okay. But for Karan and Cheryl, how the two met, it just does not add up. So, on March 7, 2023, the two of them were interviewed on This Morning, where they discussed their relationship. Now, I started to view their relationship differently when I realized that Karan used to work for Cheryl's son. But get this, when he was working for him, he was only 15 years old. When I was 15, I worked for her son. Immediately, it sounds very sus. Marrying the mother of your boss, of which you worked for when you were only 15 years old. Now in Karan's defense, he says that back then the two didn't know each other and it wasn't until years later when they actually met. I didn't get to know Cheryl then, but when I was 23, I went to a store and I actually got to know her in her name. When he got to know her, he was 23 years old and a consenting adult. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? Well, what's interesting is that one year prior, the two of them were on Love Don't Judge and just take a listen to what he says. My very first job, her son was my boss. <laughs> she would always come up there and get food and speak to everyone there. I thought he didn't get to know her until he was 23, but according to this interview, she would always come in the store and talk to everyone. Now it gets even worse because the narrator from Love Don't Judge said that before the two of them were lovebirds, they were friends for eight years. After eight years of friendship, they found love through their mutual interest in TikTok. And doing the math, that would have made him about 16 years old when the two of them started to become friends. Seriously, what would a 53 year old woman have in common with a 16 year old boy for the two of them to develop a friendship? Someone in their 50s being friends with a minor, this is just wrong. To me and to a lot of others, this sounds like grooming. And because of it, their relationship has received a lot of backlash. Some of the backlash I received, they say I'm dating my grandmother, they say she can never bear children from you. <laughs> Grammy, stop hitting on your great grandson. What's weird to you? Is normal to us. She was there when Eve stole the apple from the tree. I mean, no doubt they're getting a lot of backlash. To put into perspective how big of an age gap they really have, here's a photo of Quran from about 20 years ago, and here's a photo of Cheryl from about 20 years ago. So Cheryl has seven children, and the majority don't support her relationship. Out of seven of my children, I ha really have two 
but one that really stands by us through everything. And she, it took her a while to come to that conclusion to like him. When only one of your seven children support your relationship, that's how you know something is wrong. Her children are probably disgusted by her, but clearly not one of them. Her daughter, Ashley, who says that age doesn't matter. I didn't have a problem with it, because age doesn't really matter. What? What the fuck, you bitch? Age doesn't matter? What? You know what? Maybe she's right. How could we discriminate when love is love? We had a baby. Do you think it would be a problem? Look at that ugly. No, it wouldn't be a problem. So you're ready to welcome in another sibling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to have another brother or sister. I'm ready to have another brother or sister. I'm sure she would be ready to have her cousin as her baby dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was, that was terrible. I, I gotta stop. But based on what Cheryl said, it appears that their age gap isn't the only thing getting in the way of her children's approval. It took her a while to come to that conclusion to like him. Based on this, it seems like her kids don't like Quran, and I'd get it. A young man going for an older woman, it seems like a classic gold digger situation. But that isn't quite the reason they dislike him. Only one is approves mm -hmm. of the relationship. Yes. Because of- They call him the N-word? Your other your ones? Kids your, your other kids yeah. call him the end. For no reason. For no reason? I don't know about that. Children aren't born hateful. They're taught to become. And how they become is complex, but due to the fact that she has multiple children who call him these slurs, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that the apple landed close to the tree. I think her baby's mixed because her baby looks like it's Guatemalan. Her baby looks nothing like Why does she look like if that vegan teacher bought some blue off of Jesse Pinkman? Queen Shara has a bit of a racist past. Hmm, interesting. I mean, one thing's for sure, this lady don't age. So, what you just saw was a clip from an episode of The Murray Show that aired about 20 years ago, and in it, both her and her son refused to believe that his two-week-old daughter is his. And the reason? Because apparently the baby looks too Guatemalan. We know it all belongs to Guatemalan. Jacqueline is nothing but a manipulating hoe trying to trap my son into marrying her 300 pounds nasty now the internet did not take this lightly, many calling her out for what appears to be racially motivated hate comments. Now apparently Cheryl got paid to say what she did and has proof, but considering the fact that her own children call her husband the n-word, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that she shares the same beliefs. I haven't been able to find much about Cheryl's past, I tried digging through the internet and mistakenly landed on her Twitter page and trust me, please trust me, like, like I, I am begging you, do not go on that Twitter page, cause like, even know that that was possible i thought that she would die like i thought that getting pounded like that at that old age seriously i want to know who is actually paying over ten dollars a month to see all that and speaking of pounding that brings me to the title of this video king Quran and queen cheryl are having a baby yes despite being 63 years old and being in a 37 year old age gap relationship cheryl is having a baby <sighs> yep there's a positive pregnancy test but i She's so old that she looks like her body is literally melting. How could she possibly have a baby? Well, she's not having a baby through her body. It's through surrogacy. To no surprise, Cheryl's body won't allow her to have a baby. So they found a surrogate who will be giving birth to Quran's baby. And just recently, they gave an update announcing that the baby has reached the second trimester, meaning that we will soon be getting a gender reveal. That poor little soul. It does not know what's coming. Don't get me wrong. Pregnancy and parenthood is a beautiful thing. I truly wish the best for both of them. But this just does not seem right with me. And what's crazy to me is that Quran will be closer to his baby's age than he is to his wife. I just feel bad for that kid. There's no doubt it's going to be heavily exploited and by the time it's in its teens... Like I said, an age gap is one thing, but the fact that she met him when he was only 15 years old and they had an eight year friendship, this seems like a classic grooming situation. The fact that they have many supporters, it's disgusting. And not just supporters, but literal fans. Like this person here literally wants to meet them for her birthday. Anyways, I wanna know what y'all think about King Quran and Queen Cheryl. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Once their baby's gender is revealed and any other new information, I will make an update. If you did enjoy my video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's officially gonna do it, so until next time, Time. It's been I and Steph. Peace.